Hello, welcome. This is the uh, end of XGWC, the recap, the video, whatever. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call it, but let's get into it. First, I want to thank a few people yet again. Thank you, first off, to everyone who played. It's been incredible. Thank you to Moro, Mirio, Dez, the admins, all the people who helped. Thank you very, very, very much to Ash and Cool for making the maps. Thank you to anyone who donated to keep the servers running. So, let's take a look. It was an incredible, incredible year this year. We had some incredible players come over from Quake 3. We had the absolute best of Xenotic compete with them. And, yeah. I want to just go through, recap, round on round. So without further ado, here is what map number one looked like, if you don't remember or you haven't seen it before. So round one begins with the uh, quick circle jump, then try to hit down ramp, try to land as low as possible on that so that you go as high as possible losing as little speed. Round the corner, down ramps as much as possible obviously. Round over here. Bit tricky through there, quite often you'll just bonk on one of those. That's beautiful from Dizzy. Then here there was two routes, the slick route wasn't used by anyone except for JH, absolute legend for doing that. Dizzy crouching to get extra height to make him go further, absolute mad lad. Looking for absolutely everything. That was beautiful, was basically no speed lost. Here, loses as little speed as possible, one bounce. Very nice switch, two bounce, and across the line. So yeah, an absolutely incredible map. Thank you very much, Ash, for that one. 283 players completed that round, and your continental champions for Africa was Static, Asia, Woodjizzer, Europe, Goblin, North America, Dizzy, Oceania, Nature, and South America was Dez. And overall, here's your top 20 on the screen now. Dizzy took the first round with an incredible display, pipping Goblin by quite a chunk there. Uh, but this was the first week that these guys were coming in here. And yeah, really good showing throughout. A little bit of, um, you got people like Snow, um, Frosty, Delton, uh, Sauce and Goblin. They're your main guys from Quake 3. You've got Shinx who's coming over from, played Fair bit of Xenotic now, but coming over from Warsaw. And of course, you've got Dizzy, Knight, uh, Vert, JH, Rainbow Shadow, Farious, guys that are really core to Xenotic. Fantastic, fantastic round. And it left the top 20 standings looking as they do on screen now. Same as round one, obviously. Dizzy on top with a 25 point lead over Goblin. And a 12 point lead over Source again, and da, 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 down it goes. Next up, let's take a look at round two. Round two, we crack off with a jumping down the ramp, then onto the slick. The start, you want to get uh, as much speed as possible before you cross the start line, obviously. Cut that corner, keeping it clean, very nice from Goblin there. Gets a good amount of speed off of that. Hits this down ramp to actually manage to get a tiny little bit of down ramp going so fast he said he couldn't possibly think about hitting the slick there. Up the slick, up here, don't hit your head, you've got to crouch through those. Through there, this is absolutely nutty. Two rockets off the wall, get some extra speed. Just laying under there and straight into the finish. Absolutely mad and beautiful. So yeah, round two starting off with a heavy strafe section with a little bit of slick thrown in, then into a heavily slicked section, and then finishing up with rockets. This was an interesting one because Dizzy, well known as one of the best strafers in the game, Goblin from Quake 3, known as one of the best rocketeers and slickers over in that game, so we were all interested to see how it managed to convert over. Your continental champions were for Africa, Static, Asia, Op3, Europe, Goblin, North America, Dizzy, Oceania, Nature, and South America, Dez. There were 222 total players for this round. Just a little shy, but the best round two we've ever had. And boom, yep, he managed to take the win. The only person to go sub-34 with a 33.99, an absolutely incredible time with some incredible tricks. We've got a few more names in here now. Dex, he only picked up the game, a VQ3 legend, multiple time Defrag World Championship winner. He only picked up the game in the last two hours of um, 
of round one. And then on round two, pinging it in there, getting up in eighth place. So, yeah, some great, great times. Keeping it close. Dizzy, still in the lead, though. He managed to keep it close enough that after round two, he's kept it close. Still just above Goblin. Knight in third, Delta fourth. Got a pretty good top 20 rolling out here. And the battle is on. Round three comes in. It's going to be Rockets. Goblin again for round three. We start off just by jumping down the start. Get the rocket. Bounce up there. Hit the velocity pads. Then here's a mad bit. Shoot one rocket. Shoot second rocket when that one lands. Round the corner here. Up and over. Still got a rocket in hand because you managed to skip the trigger that takes the rockets away from you. So use that just there. Get over the top of that. Take a little shortcut down here. And here we're about to see... So we've already had one shortcut. Here's another shortcut. Get the uh, respawn point that puts you there. Skips quite a big section. Boom. Beautiful across the line. And look, yeah, he's an insane route. with so many cuts, so many different tricks you could do. There's so many different ways you could even play that map. I highly recommend you check out that one. If you only check out one of these videos uh, of the whole top 20, check out round three. But right at the top, we have a hell of a break. Dizzy's worst ever round. Dizzy rolling it in home in third after Goblin and Delta. Knight coming up in fourth, Soup in fifth, Sauce in sixth, Gibbs flying up there, Froy. We've got a lot of players, a lot of mixed players coming in, going out. The bottom half of the top 20 is an incredible battle. There were incredible battles all the way. This video is just going to focus on that top 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 three four you know slowly at the minute we kind of got five players i mean let's go over to what's the finals so the final results uh were pretty close two to three hundred so we're starting to lose source at this point but he's still he's still be able to be in there with a very good round in uh, round four he'd be able to stay up in there probably have lost frosty though so the top five still in it Goblin absolutely smashing it, 3,001 points, Dizzy just below. Round four, what's it going to be? Well, take a look at this, we're going back to strafe. Round four, hefty strafe map, and we're going to be starting with the first room. You just straight through here, avoid the holes, everyone's spacing was different. And there were a few different routes around uh, this one, up and over, but we're going straight through here, around the corner. Get a nice low bounce there. Basically doesn't lose any speed there. Dizzy an absolute master of ADing. Not losing speed and gaining as much as he possibly can. Float over there. Gets a down ramp off of that little curved corner. Which is absolutely incredible. Loses as little speed as possible going through there. Straight through that gap. It's such a tight gap. It's only about one point, one and a quarter characters wide. And through to the finish. An incredible map. 191 players on this one. Your Continental Champions are going to go to Static, Wood Jizzer, Goblin, Dizzy, Nature and Dez. The only real fight going on is the Asia where you've got Wood Jizzer and Op3 absolutely battling it out. The rest of them pretty sealed up. But yeah, Dizzy. It's a strafe map. Who could count him out? He managed to beat everybody despite some of the Quake 3 guys finding uh, Source and Delta finding incredible sections uh, of like glitchy sort of mechanics with a bounce pad. Definitely worth checking those runs out. It's worth checking all the runs out, in fact. But yeah, some great, great times here. Some new players coming in, some top strafers. There's a lot of a lot of great battles. This one was a it was a tricky map to keep your focus on, but. Uh, and it wasn't going to reward too many points because the difference in times wasn't going to be huge. But it was definitely a worthy grind. And after that, we were left with a one point difference. Going into the final row, we had a one point difference between Dizzy and Goblin. Last year, Dizzy sewed up every single map, all five of them. This year, he's got two. Goblin's got two. You could say it comes down to what is the final map, whether it was Strafe or whether it was Rockets. And yeah, Delta was kind of still in there, but it would require Goblin and Dizzy to have a terrible, terrible fifth map. 
But again, you look down, you can find little battles between different people. You know, JH, ADR, Quasar, they're all quite close together. That could be a definite fight. Everyone's fighting between each other in that top 20 and all the way down 200 players that are currently playing. 186 players in this round, though. Very good. And we start off with a double rocket stack. Which is absolutely nutty. 1500, nearly 1600 speed through there like an absolute rocket ship. It's like playing F0. Gets the rocket on the floor. Straight up through here. Beautiful Hagaring. Round the corner. Gets the shot off. Absolutely beautiful. Then you want to stack onto that pad which bounces you backwards. He does it backwards. Then this bit's absolutely nutty. He does it backwards. I can't believe he did that. It's through here. It's impossible to talk about these fast enough. Dropping there, there's no point hitting that back ramp according to the absolute best players. It is possibly faster, but probably not worth trying. Glorious round there. Loses very little speed on that, which is very rare for players to be able to lose little speed on that. Over here, little hop, set up, beautiful. Nice rocket, gaining speed off of that rocket that was just for height. And straight through across the line, incredible run. And so there it is, the final round, it's rockets, it's chaos, it's all the weapons, it's got slick, it's got everything, but it's not quite any one thing enough. It was the perfect final round because it really did have things that everyone could be good at and you could have a surprise winner. 204 people finished this round, it was that good and we were so close to getting 500 total people playing through. Your round five champions... Static, Op3, Goblin, Dizzy, Nature, and Dez. And, uh, yeah, Goblin took it. Of course, with there only being one to two points, depending on your rounding method between the two players, Dizzy and Goblin, it was always going to come down to who won the final round. But, damn, it was close still. Dizzy really, really pushed. Goblin managed to put in an absolutely incredible run. Both of them going the sub-55, a massive gap from everybody else. There were some big jumps, but there were also some ties in this round. Absolutely incredible top 20 to watch. Really, really top-level play, and I think this map definitely brought out the best play we have seen ever in Xenotic, at least that I've seen in my time of playing this and commentating and watching these games. So, yeah. Absolutely fantastic final round, an incredible map for Ash. And yeah, that was it. So let's talk about how it ended. Let's have a look at the final scores. Goblin from Dizzy, Delta falling off a little bit, Knight struggling in there at the top four, but getting an incredible run on round five. All mixed in there, different games, different players, different people, different amounts of time spent. Soup coming in only in round two and only playing four rounds. Dex realistically only playing four rounds because the first one wasn't a great time. Uh, but he only played it for an hour, like I said. Some incredible, incredible times in that final round. And just to read off a few stats here. Your Continental Champions overall were Static. Which is a Goblin, Dizzy, Nature and Dez. Congratulations to them. The number of rounds completed per player. Uh, 291 people only completed one round. 44 completed two. 39 completed three. 20 completed four. And 102 completed five. 102 players were over 100 players completing every single round. That is a hell of a stat to me. Because that means we designed good maps and that potentially my videos telling people how to get through the maps helped. So that, that's a stat that I'm very happy with. We also had players from absolutely all over the world. Literally 61 different countries had people playing from them. Most of those were in Europe. 61% of people were from Europe. Then 17% from uh, North America. Most popular countries were USA, Russia, Germany, UK, France. Da 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 da. And, yeah, just incredible, incredible. Thank you to everyone. Thank you again. Thank you to all the Quake 3 players that came across. It's been incredible since to see a lot of people continuing to play Xenotic. And, yeah, thank you again to everybody who played. It's been incredible. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you join us again. I'm, of course, continuing to do the Xenotic Defrag monthly record reviews for the regular season type stuff. 
Hope you join us again next year for XDWC if you don't want to stick around for all of that stuff. In January, we're going to be having a big overview of the whole of 2023 and giving away some records, some fake, uh, fake awards to different people who've done incredibly well in the community this year. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you somewhere else on the internet.